Hey sixth graders, this is lesson 1.3, find and apply absolute value. Today we're gonna to find and use absolute value and magnitude to describe real world situations. Um, so spark your learning. The table shows the low temperatures in Nome, Alaska for five days in temperature, I mean five days in December. Find the distance from zero to each number. So, on December 18th, it's negative 10. I could use a number line for this. If here's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is negative 10. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces from zero. Um, and then I could do negative 15 the same way. Put zero here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And if I count the distance, how many spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that one's 15 spaces from zero. I want you to pause and do the negative 16 and figure out how far from zero negative 16 is. So if you put it on the number line, and then we could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Have you noticed a pattern here? What would eight be? Right, eight is eight spaces from it. And what about three? Correct, three spaces. So you can use the number line. Image. The elevations for four fish in a lake are shown. The elevation to the top of the lifeguard stand is six feet. Graph the integers on the number line. All right, so over here we have, these are our numbers. So negative one, negative three, negative six and negative 10. What is the distance from zero to each elevation on the number line? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and write my numbers out. Okay. So one, negative one is one space from zero. Negative three is one, two, three spaces. S negative six, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. And negative 10 is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can always count the distances um, on the number line, just plot it and then count how many places over do you need to go to get to zero, and that's the distance. The distance from a number to zero on a number line is called the absolute value. So distance from a number to zero is the absolute value. Complete each of the following sentences using the number line above. So it says the absolute value of negative one is. Well, remember, absolute value is just the distance from zero. And we said negative one was one space. So it would be one. The absolute value of six is six because it's six spaces from zero. Absolute value of negative three, we said was three spaces, so it's three. Absolute value of negative 10, and the absolute value of negative six. Remember, it's just the distance from zero. Just count how far away from zero is it. The absolute value of a number is written with using the symbols 
these lines, okay? For example, the absolute value of negative 8 is written with those lines around it. Find the absolute values using the values from B. So this just says the absolute value of 1, which was 1. The absolute value of 6 was 6. The absolute value of negative 3, absolute value of negative 10, and the absolute value of negative 6. Negative numbers are less than positive numbers. Does this mean the absolute value of the negative must be less than the absolute value of the positive? Actually, no, because absolute value is always the distance. So absolute value is always the distance from zero. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, it's always, always, always the distance. The turn and talk is important. It says, can the absolute value of a number ever be negative? So absolute value is the distance. How many spaces or steps does it take to get to zero? So no, absolute value is always positive because it's the distance from zero. So you can ask yourself, how many steps or how many spaces away from zero is that number? And it's always going to be a positive number, no matter what. All right, let's go to the next page. The magnitude of a number is its size or amount without considering its sign. The magnitude of a number is the same as the absolute value. So that's important. Magnitude is the same as the absolute value. Keep that in mind, okay? Some insects produce a chemical that prevents the water in their bodies from freezing and helps them survive extreme cold. An insect's super cooling point is the lowest temperature at which it can survive. The table shows the super cooling points of several insects. Graph the super cooling points on the number line. All right, I want you to pause and graph it and then hit play. All right, check this and see if you agree. B says, what are the magnitudes of negative 70, negative 54, and negative 35? Remember, magnitude is the same as absolute value. So, negative 70's magnitude would be 70. Negative 54's magnitude would be 54. Negative 35's magnitude would be 35. How many spaces? Hopefully you're noticing a pattern too of how to get that quickly. Complete these number sentences, which use absolute value symbols to show the magnitude of each number from part B. So again, you see these, these lines here. That means absolute value. How many spaces from zero? So what's the absolute value of negative 70? 70. 70 spaces from zero. What's the absolute value of negative 54? 54. Good. The absolute value of 35 is 35. Good. Write an inequality to show the relationship between negative 70 and negative 35. So inequality is a vocabulary word that tends to throw us off sometimes. Remember that means less than or greater than and you have the symbols. So I'm just going to use the numbers in the order they have negative 70 and negative 35. Which one of those is greater? Negative 35 is, so it, we know it has to have that symbol. So our inequality would be negative 70 is less than negative 35. Which super cooling point is closest to zero on the number line? So look at your number line. Which one's closest to zero? The pink rice borer, negative 6.8. Which insect has the lowest supercooling point? 
All right, so that means which one can survive the coldest temperature? That negative 70, so that's the woolly bear caterpillar. That's the one in the picture. All right, um, at this time you're finished with your notes. Um, go back to Canvas and see which slide you need to do in your notebook.